welcome to this video. Tonight is Tesa time. This half euro cylinder was sent to me by Talon Pick and he sent it to me because these locks are very difficult to pick, he said. And I have to admit, yes, he is true. These are particularly difficult to pick. Tesa is a Spanish brand um, and they are now part of the ESA Eploy group. Um, <laughs> when I first uh, started working on this lock, I thought I would pick it open sometime. Yeah, but I didn't manage to pick it open. I, I gave up and I removed uh, pin 1 and pin 2 and I only worked with three pins in the back and at some point in time I managed to get it open with three pins. Then I added a fourth pin and after some time I got it open and then I added the fifth pin and yes. I opened it uh, multiple times uh, since then but I think in total I spent maybe about six or seven hours in picking uh, of this lock and getting the right feel for the pins. And you have to know that these pins are uh, special. They are almost standard pins but uh, with uh, tapered ends. And you need to pick them multiple times in the process in order to uh, get the shear line cleared. So let me repeat my, my luck on camera for you now. By the way, here's the bidding on the key. Quite challenging bidding, actually. And yeah, I will tell you more when I pick it about the process of picking this lock and finally we will have a look at the pins really close. It's clamped up in the vise. Here is the key again, the bidding on the key. Lock works and is locked up. I apply tension on the pin side with the Peterson pry bar. I use the Sparrow's uh, shallow hook to manipulate the pins. So, fairly strong tension on the plug to find the first binder. And I know the first binder is pin 5, and I'm over pin 5 now. Set it. And you have to really take care that you don't overset pins. So there are weak springs in it, and it's... Um, very easy to, to overset pins, so this is one problem or one challenge with this lock. Um, oversetting pins and uh, you have to set the pins multiple times. So, fairly strong tension to prevent pins from being overset. Now I'm on pin 1. Got it set a little bit. So you never know if you set it to the full depth or not. I'm on pin 2 now. Got a click but no turn on the core yet. So I think I have to check for other pins to be set a little bit deeper. I'm on pin 5 again. Got a click and a little turn on the core. So I check the check pin 1 and pin 2 again. And when I touch pin 2 the core turned a little bit. So I think I got a better um, clearance of the shear line, so now I check okay, pin 3 is binding now got a click but no turn on the core pin 4 so now all pins uh, are set at least um, partially so they may hang on the on the tapered end and now my task is to go through the uh, through all the pins and push every pin a little bit very carefully not to, to overset one of these and I might already have overset one so if after some paths the lock won't open. I will release tension and see if maybe the overset pin comes back. So 
doesn't seem to to open. So the last path. Pin five, nothing. Pin four is a high pin, nothing. Pin three, nothing. So I've picked this lock so many times I really know by heart about the the profile the pins need to need to be need to have. And I think the, the profile is quite good, so actually I don't think that I've overset a pin. So this is not a, a it's it's the opposite, it's the it's the the other end of uh, picking something out of the box. It's picking something that you really really know very well. So this is some kind of artificial picking. I'm not sure if I now have the, the right feel to pick a lock of this kind uh, um, without analyzing it uh, first. So no no luck yet. So I will release tension a little bit. And got a small click here. So I will release tension again a little bit, get another click, a little bit more, okay. So and open. Ha! One pin was overset, I released tension, it came back, and then I touched another pin and finally the the shear line was cleared. Okay, so now I will cut it. Give you a close up to these pins. And you can see the, the tapered ends here. They, they don't look much, but they really make your, your picking life hard. You have to set every pin multiple times. And if you overset a pin, they yeah, they hit it. They they like to to stay on the on the place. I was I was lucky when I released tension that uh, that it came back. Um, I can show you the the weakness of the of the spring. You can see it. Um, it's it's deep inside and. There is not much, uh, not, not much tension. So one security aspect of this lock is that it's easy to to overset the pins. All right. So Carlos Talanpik, thank you very much for this uh, great experience. I really loved to to learn to to pick this these um, these pins. Tesa is a is a great um, lock, and I can just re recommend to e everyone to to try it by yourself. All right, thank you very much for watching. Happy picking! Bye bye.